Okay, what we've got here is a donkey engine or a steam engine. Uh, this is a uh, this is a toy that uh, actually I got it from my dad, and uh, it would have been very popular amongst mechanically minded kids uh, about I don't know maybe 30, 40 years ago. Uh, so it's just a little steam engine. I'm just going to show you how it works. So the steam engine has a, a boiler, and the boiler is going to be we put some fire under the boiler. Uh, and it will boil some water and create some steam. So you, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's there's water in there. If I tip that a little bit, you can see there's about half a boiler full of water. So what I'm going to do before we start is just put the put the uh, cap on there. Like that, so it's that, that's air airtight. And uh, there's a little pressure release valve here that I'm also going to screw in. So now. That, that boiler is airtight and it's got about it's about half filled with water and half filled with air and when we put some fire under there and heat up the boiler that'll create a lot of pressure inside the boiler as, as the water converts into steam uh, now you can see i'll show you the bits and pieces here actually you know what i'll do before i do anything else i'll light it we'll get that started and we can talk about what's happening as it happens so i'm just going to this is just a fire lighter uh, a fire starter uh, one of these that you typically use to start a barbecue with. So I'm just going to light that and poke it inside underneath the boiler there. Okay, so that's going to start to heat. So as that heats, uh, as I mentioned, we're going to we're going to boil the water in here. We're going to create steam. Now you can see this little pipe here that takes the steam into the cylinder. I'll just turn that around so we can see. Okay, so this is the cylinder, and this is what makes the steam engine work. Um, so, so when the you can see when I turn the flywheel here, the cylinder rocks up and down, and up and down. Uh, so when the cylinder is in this up position, there's a little hole that you can't see in the front of the cylinder, and that little hole in the up position is aligned to the steam pipe, so that uh, so steam can come into the cylinder. When the, when the cylinder is in the down position like that, now the hole, which you can see, is aligned with this little exhaust hole. So when the, when the cylinder's up like this, the steam can go into the cylinder. And when the cylinder is in the down position, the steam can come out of the cylinder. So I've got a diagram over here. Let's have a look at this. So, so in the up position is the cylinder. And you can see that the steam comes in through this little pipe, comes in, into the cylinder, and this is the piston. It pushes the piston out of the cylinder. Um, so when the, cylinder, when, the, when the wheel turns and the cylinder rocks into the down position, this one here, now the hole in the cylinder is aligned with the exhaust hole. And as, this, as the um, momentum of the flywheel pushes the, pushes the piston back into the cylinder, the steam can come out of the exhaust pipe here. So here we've got the steam pushing the piston out, and here we've got the momentum of the flywheel turning and pushing the piston back in, which squirts the steam out of the exhaust hole. So this, uh, this phase here is what provides the power that kicks the fl flywheel over. Okay, let's go and have a look and see what's happening. Now, when you're doing your assessment, when you're doing your work, uh, one of the things you'll have to do is you'll have to make some observations. So some observations here already, you can see there's a lot of this black smoke coming out. Uh, so one inference you, you might be able to make about that is that the fuel is not burning completely. So there's a lot of soot. You can see that it's making everything black, so we'll give that a clean later. Uh, and in fact, historically, the old steam engines were very messy, dirty things uh, because of that incomplete combustion. Okay, so what, I, what should be happening now, we should be able to be starting to get a bit of pressure in the boiler. So let's just test it a little bit. If I move the flywheel here so that the cylinder is in the up position. Oh, can you see how it kicked? See how the cylinder kicked? Like that. Now I think we've got probably got enough pressure now that if I give this a flick, you might just want to stand back a little bit. If I give this a little bit of a flick now, that should be enough. There we go. I'll just hold it so it doesn't walk off the edge. So there we have the steam engine working. So in terms of energy conversion, oh, it's quite smoky. In terms of energy conversion we've got here is we've got chemical energy inside the fire starter is converting into heat energy as it burns. That heat energy is being transferred into the water and converting the water into steam, uh, which creates pressure. 
um, so that uh, that heat energy in the water uh, is then being translated into kinetic energy. Uh, okay, now as that starts to cool down, you should see the, uh, the steam will stop being produced, the pressure will be reduced. There we go. There's a little bit of pressure in there left. It kicks over a little bit, but as it cools, there'll be less and less pressure. And we're just about done now. There we go. That's it. Okay.